now we are going to see how to find the last two digits of any given power so for example let us say 49 whole power 19 we need to find out the last two digits of 49 power 19 finding the last two digits of given power is same as finding 49 power 19 mod 100 so if you apply mod 100 you will get the last two digits for any number or any power so to make to solve this one what we are going to do is we will write this 100 as product of two number in such a way that the GCD of the two numbers is 1 once this kind of match is 25 comma 4 so the GCD of 25 comma 4 is 1 and its product is 100 so we are going to rewrite this one as a system of congruent sequences it means so x is congruence to 49 power 19 mod 25 x is congruent to 49 power 19 mod 4 so we have to solve these two equations so before solving these two equations so for solving these two equations we can use Chinese reminder theorem so before going for Chinese reminder theorem let us simplify these equations First, let me simplify the, this one, the first one. 49 mod 25. First, let us compute the 49 mod 25. So, 49 mod 25 is 24 mod 25. Nothing but you can add this modulo or subtract this modulo to this number any number of times. If I subtract one time, it is 424 mod 25. If I subtract one more time, it is minus 1 mod 25. So, 49 mod 25 is minus 1 mod 25. So, what is the value of 49 whole power 19 mod 25? So, this is same as minus 1 whole power 19 mod 25 because we know the value of 49 mod 25 49 mod 25 is minus 1 so 49 whole power 19 is minus 1 whole power 19 so minus 1 whole power 19 is still minus 1 the minus mod. so the whole value of 49 whole power 19 mod 25 is congruent to minus 1 mod 25 the same way let us find out 49 whole power 19 it let's simplify 49 whole power 19 mod 4 so for it, let us first find out 49 mod 4 so 49 mod 4 is we know so 1 mod 4 that means if you divide 49 with 4 you will get remainder as 1 so 1 mod 4 if 49 mod 4 is 1 mod 4 then 49 whole power 19 mod 4 is 1 power 19 mod 4 1 power 19 is 1 so 1 mod 4 so these are the two new equations equation 3 and equation 4 so we have to solve these two system of equations the first one is x is congruent to 49 power 19 mod 25 which can be write, written as minus 1 mod 25. And the second one is x is congruent to 49 whole power 19 mod 4. 49 whole power 19 mod 4 can be written as 1 mod 4. So we have to solve these two equations by using Chinese reminder theorem. So I will show you what is Chinese reminder theorem. So this is the Chinese remainder theorem. So if you have a system of equations like this, x is congruent to a1 mod m1, 
x congruent to a2 mod m2, x congruent to a n mod and so on a n mod m n. The solution is x is equal to a1 w1 plus a2 w2 plus a and so on a n w1 where w i is nothing but y i z i mod m. What, what about y i z i? z i is m by m i y i is equal to z i inverse mod m i. This m is nothing but the product of all the modulus. The product of all the modulus. For example, so m is equal to m1 into m2 and so on mn. And yi is equal to z in zi inverse mod my. So z we already find out it. Okay. So let us solve this equation. Let us apply this one for the, our problem. So I have we have we have two equations and our solution becomes x is equal to a1 w1 plus a2 w2 now let us find what is w1 and w2 so before finding what is z1 z2 let us find m m is nothing but the product of all the modulus so which is nothing but 25 into 4 z1 is equal to m m by m1 so which is nothing but 4 and the same way z2 is equal to m by m2 which is 25 so immediately after finding uh, z1 and z2 find out yi y1 is equal to z1 inverse mod m1 z1 we know 4 inverse mod m1 so m1 is 4 m1 is sorry, 25 so what is the value of 4 inverse mod 25 you have to apply the modulus inverse, inverse theorem and you have to find out the value of y2 also z2 inverse mod m2 so we know z2 is 25 inverse mod 4 you have to find out these two values by applying the inverse modulo if you apply inverse modulo 4 inverse mod 25 is becomes 19 and 25 inverse mod 4 becomes 1 now we got y1 and y2 so once you know you got y1 and y2 immediately you have to find out w1 and w2 w1 is equal to y1 into z1 mod m which is nothing but y1 we know 19 and z1 is 4 into mod mod m m is 25 into 400 w2 is equal to y2 is z2 so the value of y2 is 1 and z2 is 25 to mod 100. Now let's find the final solution. So x is equal to a1 w1. What is a1 w1? What is a1 is minus 1. This is a1. Minus 1. minus 1 w1 is 19 into 4 plus a2 a2 is 1 1 into w2 w2 is 1 into 25 so for whole this mod m mod m is 100 so this is nothing but minus 76 plus 25 mod 100 so minus 76 plus 25 is 
minus 51 mod 100. As I told you earlier, you can add this modulo or you can subtract this modulo any number of times and the, the final value will become same thing. So you add 100 once, it will become 49 more 100. The 49 more 100 is 49. So the 49 is the last two digits of 49 whole power 19 mod 100. Thank you.